such a cool update. Hey everybody, top of the morning to you. And today I am so excited to show you Easy CMS 1.3. Now this is seriously the biggest update that easy cms has gotten right up until this point easy cms was great it allowed you to, to do you know images and text and you can obviously still do that but we've added a lot of really great functionality um, to take your easy cms instances even farther allowing you to edit video um, toggle on and off various layout components um, it now has a full-blown WYSIWYG editor, right? It's really matured a lot. And I think that this update makes Easy CMS a no-brainer, right, for your CMS needs. If you don't need something bigger and larger like Total CMS, right? I think if you don't want to use Total CMS um, for budget reasons or something like that, this update of Easy CMS seriously just makes it a no-brainer, right? Um, because you really get access to a lot of very powerful components um, in this update. Like I said, video, the image editing has been really revamped. A lot of really powerful, great features were brought in from Total CMS uh, for images, right? In terms of uh, image requirements and making sure that the proper images and the proper sizes are uploaded. Right, um, we have number inputs. Okay, we have uh, pr the protect stack has been uh, improved. Um, we have select boxes to allow your users to pre-select from a drop-down menu. Right, predefined content areas for their site. Right, um, so a lot of again, a lot of really great, powerful things. Let's jump on in and see some of the stuff in action. So here we are inside the Easy CMS demo project, and this has been completely revamped with all the latest and greatest stacks in Easy CMS. As you will see inside the stacks library, the number of stacks that ship with Easy CMS has really grown. Okay, we have the new number stack for the admin, the new select box stack, a new toggle stack, a new video, right? And on the content side, we have the new toggle and videos. Okay, let's dive in and see what these actually do for us. So here we are on the admin page and at the very top, we'll see that we have the new toggle stack. And what this does is this allows us to turn on and off various components on the content side, right? So right now on the content side, there is a summary at the top of the page. Let's say I wanted to turn that off. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. And when we look at the content side, the paragraph that is at the top of this page is now gone. Let's go ahead and turn that back on. So now let's go ahead and turn that back on and preview it again. And what you see is that par that summary paragraph is here again um, because I toggled that on and off. Now this is very simple, I'm just turning on a paragraph but you can turn on and off entire layouts, maybe um, you know a weekly special section or a holiday section or a whole bunch of things, right? But this is really powerful. The toggle stack can be used for so many things to turn things on and off and give your clients the ability to turn things on and off uh, directly from the admin area. Now, if we scroll further down, we will, we will see that uh, we have a couple other new admin stacks here. The first one is the select box. And this allows you to define uh, predefined content, right? So if my customer chooses hello there, they can, you know, it will then display whatever is associated with that item on the content side. So this is a nice way of providing predefined bits of content for your users to be able to toggle um, between, right? And then that, that these particular areas are treated exactly like text areas on the content side. So you can use the text macros or the text stack to insert these into the actual page. Next on the right here, we have a number input box. And this also interacts exactly like text. It saves just as text would, okay? But it provides us an additional um, way for our customers to input just numbers, right? So, you know, it could be, you know, 100, 200. So it just gives us a nice way 
for our customers to have a number style input box so that we can make sure that our customers are only inputting the data that we want them to input. Now below here, you'll probably notice is the new WYSIWYG editor called HIPWYG um, in Easy CMS. Now this was brought down from Total CMS and it is now the new default editor inside Easy CMS and is really simple to use. Simply select the text you want, you can bold things, you can add links just by clicking the link button, type in your URL, right? Um, you can make things italic. Now there are a slew of other buttons that you can add here. You can embed videos, you can embed images, you can embed a whole bunch of other things directly into the HipWig editor. Okay, so this is a very powerful and feature rich uh, way for your customers to have an even nicer and easier experience using the CMS. Now, lastly here is you'll notice we have a text box, okay, that has a YouTube URL. And this controls a video portion on the content side. So you can paste in any YouTube, Vimeo or Wistia URL directly into this box and it will embed that video directly on the content side as we see here. It really couldn't be any easier to swap out videos uh, on your website. Now earlier I said we had a lot more powerful way of validating images when users are uploading them, right? If we look at the new image admin stack, uh, you'll notice that there are some new upload validation rules that, and this allows us to validate whether or not the image is landscape, portrait, or a square image. We can then validate the size so we can provide a maximum size so that our customers aren't uploading humongous images, right? We can define a ma minimum and maximum height of an image as well as the minimum and maximum width of an image as well. Right? So this gives us a lot of control in terms of making sure that our customers are uploading the correct image and the proportions image that we need to make sure that the website still looks beautiful. Now, another nice gem here is inside the alt tag, you can actually insert image metadata by default directly into the alt tag. So if your customers have tagged their images with metadata, we can actually leverage that and insert that metadata into the alt tag for an image when it's uploaded. We have access to file name, title, caption, and copyright information that is inside the image metadata. So that does it for all of the major changes here in Easy CMS 1.3. Now there are a bunch of more little settings and tweaks and updates all throughout the various C CMS stacks. Right. Uh, for instance, in the image stack, you can now have circular images and a bunch of other really great options in the image stack. OK, but I hope you see the power now that Easy CMS has. It can do a lot more than it could before now, which is really exciting. Um, it gives you a, a really superb CMS for your budget websites. Right. Um, I think it's just a great solution for pretty much any website out there. So I hope you're enjoying Easy CMS and I hope you even like Easy CMS 1.3 even more. So until next time, draw a bit.